Do you think Michigan has any endangered species? Absolutely. I'm sure we have many. <laughs> Everywhere is suffering. We've seen some of this, these times over the years changing, so... Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, I'm not really sure. I'm assuming turtles, salamanders, like amphibians. Kirkland's warblers. Warbler is the uh, main species that I'm most familiar with in Michigan. There's actually even a festival about it north of us that uh, like celebrates that and tries to spread the word. I think they might. They probably would. I guess it's probably more common than what I think about. For the Kremlin's warbler, there are a few reasons why it has been classified as endangered. The bird has a very limited nesting ground, located in select counties in and around Michigan, and targets specific types of trees to live in. As deforestation continues to occur throughout the state, their nesting grounds also continue to be destroyed. With the limited amount of nesting grounds, this bird was only recently discovered in the past century. The state, however, is working on a progressive recovery plan in hopes to bring its population back up in the years to come. The main concern being restricted nesting space, it is understandable that habitat destruction is one of the main reasons why this bird is endangered, and that a lot of conservancy efforts are creating reserves that feature the nesting habitats of the species. Every year on the third Saturday in May, Kirtland Community College hosts the Kirtland's Warbler Wildlife Festival on their campus. The festival attracts around 2,000 individuals who hope to catch a glimpse of the rare bird. It also was created to educate individuals on the endangered species and how they can help preserve the species. This is one way that the state is trying to help bring back the species population. The Mitchell satyr is one of the world's rarest butterflies. This butterfly's natural habitats are grassy wetlands found in Michigan and the Midwest one of the key habitats that are continuously being destroyed by human expansion. In 2006, Michigan received a grant to assist in the protection of this creature's natural habitat. The purpose of this is to stop the destruction of the remaining wetlands that the butterflies still inhabit. Much like most reptiles, the copperbelly's natural habitat is floodplains, wetlands, and near slow rivers, all targets for destruction by human expansion. It also was collected by humans and killed by predators. With its recent addition to the endangered list, scientists are working to research the snake in efforts to discover how to preserve its habitat, one being the request that any sightings be reported to the DNR. The Michigan cougar was removed from the state by force in the early 1900s and is a prime example of how human intervention can push out a native species. Still, there are sightings of this cat throughout the state, though the population is nowhere near as constant as it once was. Many individuals and groups are trying to bring back the cougar to the state through both documentation of sightings and preservation of its old habitat.